hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to dive into a common vulnerability involving the vnc servers on port number 5900 we'll start with a basic overview of what vnc is why port number 5900 is important and then we will move into the scanning for open vnc port using nmap finally we'll demonstrate how to exploit weak vnc credential using vnc login module in metasploit and connect to the vnc server using vnc viewer so let's get started first of all let's talk about vnc which stands for virtual network computing it's a popular remote desktop protocol that allow user to connect another machine's desktop over a network vnc server commonly run on a port number 5900 which is the default port for this service now while vnc is widely used for legitimate remote access it, it can be also a dangerous or a risk a security risk when uh, uh, vnc is not properly configured especially if uh, we are using a weak password or some uh, there is no password or uh, the null password are used so this uh, this can uh, leave the system vulnerable to brute force attack which is uh, what we are going to ex explore later in this video now that we know about uh, what vnc is so let's move to the scanning process so first of all we uh, use uh, nmap to scan port number 5900 which as we you know mentioned earlier it's a default port for vnc so i just open my terminal nmap command which is one uh, nmap then ip address of our uh, server then we specify the port number 5900 and uh, we use uh, hyphen sv to enumerate the service version so once the scan complete we will see if the vnc service is available and we can proceed further if the service is available so here we can see the port number 5900 is open and our machines have a vnc service running with the protocol 3.3 so now we have confirmed that uh, vnc is running on port number 5900 so it's time to exploit it So we are going to use Metasploit VNC uh, login module to brute force weak credentials. This module attempts to connect to the VNC service using different username and password combination. So first, uh, let's open our Metasploit. Okay, so first let's, uh, let's search for uh, uh, VNC login module. So just type uh, search VNC underscore login and you can see there is a auxiliary scanner module to uh, to check the vnc authentication which is the vnc authentication scanner so we just just type use zero to select the particular module now uh, we'll set the ip address of the host um, of the host machine so to set the ip address just write show options here you can see uh, we need to specify the host name host ip of the remote host so just set our host to our vulnerable vm enter next we will specify a password file or a manual enter common weak password for this demo we'll use a basic password list so if, if you you know uh, open this module so by default you get uh, this vnc password list which is a very common uh, weak vnc password now you just need to enter a run command to execute a particular module and is, as you can see we successfully uh, get the login password which is a password once uh, with the correct password in hand we can now access the remote desktop using vnc viewer so vnc viewer is basically a command line utility in a kali if you search for vnc viewer and just write iphone iphone help then you can see all the options available for the vnc viewer so here we just uh, try to connect our vnc viewer with the host ip and a port number so just write vnc viewer and our host ip 168.29.150 with uh, our uh, port number 5900 and just enter now you need to specify the password so basically we got a password here so you can just copy the password from here or you can just manually type the password 
and click enter once uh, authenticated we'll gain a full access on the remote desktop of the target machine as you can see here so here you can just uh, access the cell like id command so currently we are uh, logging as a root user so this basically a uh, demonstrate just how critical it is to secure vnc service with a strong password to prevent unauthorized access and that's how you can identify and exploit weak vnc password using nmap and metasploit followed by connecting to the vnc server with vnc viewer this show the real world consequences of a weak vnc security and i highlight the important of the password hygiene so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more cyber security content and as always stay safe and secure i will see you in the next video